you know, some of the sites are, are like Hartford, Connecticut would be a good site for us, I, I think. And, um, and we'll see what the matchup is. That was UVM men's basketball head coach John Becker, not even an hour after his team took home the America East Championship Saturday afternoon. The Catamounts knew they had earned an NCAA tournament berth and would be playing in the big dance, but that's all they knew until tonight when John Becker's wish came true. Who are they playing? They're playing the Catamounts of Vermont out of the America East and the number 13 seed. In the West. If you can't read the tiny letters, yes, UVM will indeed be playing in Hartford, Connecticut, just like John Becker asked. The Cats drawing a 13 seed in the big dance. You can see by their reaction, yeah, they were pretty stoked. They'll be taking on the fourth seeded Florida State Seminoles out of the ACC. So there will be no plane ride, no charter flight for UVM in the future. Vermont will hop on a bus to Connecticut Tuesday. They hope to see a lot of green and gold in the stands when they get there. Yeah, a lot of excitement, you know, for the guys, and we were all kind of hoping for either sunshine in San Jose or uh, be able to play in front of a home crowd in Hartford. So I'm glad that it ended up being Hartford. I'm definitely excited for it. Well, first I was wondering if we actually got the uh, the bid. It took so long for us to, to, to be announced, but, but Hartford is awesome. I'm from Connecticut, obviously, and so a bit of a homecoming. So I was excited and for our fans, hopefully we get a great turnout. Catamounts won this trophy over the weekend. They will begin their quest to win a much more prestigious trophy Thursday afternoon in the Constitution State. So let's take a look at the matchup. UVM will be making its seventh NCAA tournament appearance in program history. Florida State will be making its 17th. The Seminoles, fresh off an ACC championship defeat to Duke, finished fourth in the conference this season. The two sides have only met one time before. That matchup came, oh, you know, yesterday, back in December of 1976. The Catamounts fell to the Seminoles 76 67 in that one. They can even up the head-to-head -head series if that even means anything with a win Thursday afternoon.